Dewey. L O S O underscore underscore G is now DK, the engineer. And we have a guest. As usual. As usual. A person. As you can see, special guest flow, Omari, aka at Smooth Guy O. S M O O V E G U I O. You already know. You sound like you're interviewing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you about the interview. You know. Oh man, we were talking off mic about celebrities we've met. And I would say his favorite celebrity was Chris Jenner. Chris Jenner. Wait, Imagine. what? <laughs> nah, I'm no fuck. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> get his band. I nah, was fucking, that was crazy. I get fucking. Wait, isn't it Caitlyn Jenner? Bruce Jenner? I don't know Sorry, Bruce Jenner. Right, I was just talking oh, shit. Oh, you mean the old Bruce Jenner? Yeah. I was just talking shit. Oh, okay. I've met a few. I met like baseball players. Willie Montpena, Vladimir Guerrero. Vladimir yeah. Guerrero, I reckon. Yeah, it's but, a legend. He's he's a but I didn't like, um, <laughs> you know, I don't watch sports and shit like that. So I didn't give a fuck. It's just when the motherfucker shook my hand, son, it was like. It was big as fuck, right? Yo, my man, it was like they were holding. It was literally like this. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Like that. I was just like, yo, shit. Like, People underestimate no, how big. Baseball players. They, they yeah, literally I didn't know, like they were, yeah, they I didn't know how big they were, like bro. Yeah, I didn't know how big they were. Fucking giants. Yeah. I didn't know how big they were until like I saw them. They're football players who don't move as much. Yeah. yeah. And they're, like, <laughs> Basically. They're, they're natural. They're um, at the average height of a baseball player is like six five or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. For baseball? Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, they're giants, Max. bro. Yeah. Why do they gotta be so tall to? I guess legs to run the base. I mean, I like just power steroids. all the above. Like. <laughs> I mean, it's just power. It's, it's like, steroids. you know, it's you need steroids. someone yes. with a lot of mass to hit a ball really hard, really far. So that's probably a big reason. They're big as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. The first time I realized they're so big was this episode of Fairly Odd Parents when they played against the Yankees. Because they drew them to scale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. I never. I'm weak because I'm dead ass. No. Remember that? Yeah, that's, that's, what I remember that I that's what I was like. Nah, they really that big. And I googled it. <laughs> nah, I had to Google this nah, shit. And I was like, nah, they're Simpsons. huge. I remember. Damn, I never thought. About but they're not big like on that. TV. Like when you watch the the um. The well, it's because they're usually standing nah. next to each other. And they also fought. The I'm cameras like, also fought. How big is the TV too? Now I'm gonna give you a prime example though. Like at my job, randomly I pick. I was doing my work. Pick my head up. What do you do? I'm an associate editor at a new at a new website called 137pm.com. Which 137 is 137 p.m. 137pm. Oh, 137pm. Why 137pm? Well, it's been um, rumored that that's the birth date for the owner of the uh, website. Oh, oh okay. damn. Go by name and Gary V. Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. And he was born on 37th of January. No, no one thirty-seven p.m. Oh my bad. <laughs> I think I was born at like five or I was born at five was, in the morning. I think. He was born in January. I was, 37? <laughs> I was three three forty-seven p.m. on a hot ass Thursday on May tenth. I remember that because it said on my birth certificate. My mom told me. I remember that. I said boop. All right, cool. I re- like sense eight. Sense? Exactly. <laughs> I was nah, born minutes before. When I was at work. I uh, see a baseball player pull up, put my head up. It was A Rod, Alex Rodriguez. I'm looking, I'm sizing him up. I'm looking like, oh, son is tight, big. He's sizing legit. Like, <laughs> He's like six damn. six, two and some change. Mind you, he has an alarm. Um, Overcoat. Tri- yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. So imagine when you take it off. I'm looking like, oh, okay, cool. Granted, he was in trouble with the steroid situation. I mean, I forgave him because I'm, I'm low key a fan of his, but still. He was kind of big was when, huge, in person, yeah. though. Like, yeah. a lot of people stay, sleep on baseball places. I'm looking at them like, oh, I see what it is now. That's how you're getting like 220 million for this contract and 500 mm-hmm. for this contract. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Soccer players, and, yeah. soccer players and baseball players make the most right. Facts. On the yeah, low. and it's I funny. Think, isn't it the union? Like, they get the most pussy too. That their union is they get the most cheap. Yeah, yeah. The they're, best. They're, they're most pussy. Really good. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> the fuck are you saying? I said they get the most pussy. The soccer players and the baseball players get the most pussy. I, I don't know. Look at um, is it is A-Rod? A-Rod got the most bodies, can... right? A-Rod's got the most fire bodies, the most high quality bodies, isn't it? I J-Lo. believe it. Am I, am I mixing? I mean, like yo, I believe well, publicly, am I mixing with somebody else? Is it Jeter? Is it Jeter? Jeter got the Jeter got Jeter. Jeter. Jeter got the fire bodies, right? Yeah, Jeter. got Jeter's like top five. Baseball players got the top bodies, bro. On the low. But basketball players, I feel like, got the top bodies. Mm-mm. Son. I feel like they only fucking a specific genre of shorties. I feel like... <laughs> Any genre oh, so you talk about shorties. mixture? <laughs> genre yeah. of shorties. Yeah. Yeah. He's watching basketball-wise. He's yeah. like, I, I think I baseball players is... Right, no, no, that ass. I think that'd be tight. Hood bitches. I feel like baseball players are hitting... <laughs> 
high quality like lead oh, actress. But it all depends shit, on your preference bro. and everything. Cause I'm the type where, you know, I I could entertain a mixed joint, but I stick to my Nubian queens. I like black chicks. Like so, we'll be the, at the, the, the top, top of the berry sweet top chicks, three. You know, fire show you. Out of order for the most part. That's a hard one, like, cause it, it mixes up. Yeah, Oprah, I got, I'm I'm listen. You know she got to pay me mad bread. To, <laughs> to go, <laughs> she got to give she me. She got to throw that bag at residual me. Residual income. Facts. I'm the type where proximity will make you fucking famous. Huh? <laughs> That's so true. Oprah, like, just saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> All she got to do is tweet the best forties then. Oh, it's <laughs> over. Like, like, it's just like base forty. Say what? What? We're all lying. Oh, I got bro, you. we're on twenty twenty. <laughs> how, how did you guys get so big so quick? That's how she did with Weight Watchers, bro. That's what she did with Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil was like affiliated with her. No one knew who Doctor Phil was, and all yeah, of a sudden, so she's like, you know, facts. Yo, and she, everything and, she, everything and she, she had bought stock in this shit. Is too. it not Jerry Seinfeld? Jerry Springer. He used to be a politician. Yeah, yeah. He, he was Maris. He, he was Maris. Fucking knows he, he was Maris Cincinnati. No one he created that show to take advantage of yeah. poor fucking people. He was a mayor at one point. What a dirtbag. Yeah. He's Maris Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah. What? Great He's show. Mayor. Holy shit. I missed that show. Jerry, Jerry. I'm. I'm pretty sure it's still on. I haven't seen it, but I. I wouldn't doubt it's that. Because you still don't on. stay home. You have a job. Yeah. yeah no. But I'm just saying. I. I <laughs> doubt that. I'm. I'm pretty sure he's like gray as fuck. Still. It's still yeah, probably. probably going. Old, yeah. it's, it's, it's still probably going, going though. Yeah. Maury. Maury's probably going too. Like those are two things. They're like Pat Saint Jack, or like Alex. Alex Trebek. Trebek. Like they're never oh, retiring. Shout out to die. Alex Trebek, man. I hope he get better. Yeah. Real talk. See? Yeah. You he's know? a beast. I love Jeopardy. Facts. That's why I, I feel like I gain a lot, of, a lot of knowledge watching that show. This is mad trivia. Oh, yeah. Mad low trivia. Oh, dude. And the thing is, it's like, it's one of those shows, because there's very few shows that go through, like, this is basically like three generations of people mm-hmm. that have seen his shit. Like, our parents and even some of our grandparents are, like, Thanks. familiar with Jeopardy and, mm-hmm. like, Wheel of Fortune and shit like that. That's crazy. Do y'all know Sabo Gigante? You know who I'm talking about? Sounds very I've heard about it. it. Yo, so, I bet you... So, I bet you it sounds familiar. Yo, every time I hear it, I was watching... Um, I first heard about the show while I was watching stand-up. Mm-hmm. Tommy Davidson was performing All-Star Weekend. He was, you know, doing a funny ass impersonation of of the Telemundo network. He said, "Sabi de gante," and he started going crazy. And that's what I'm like. It's really a show called that. And next thing you know, I'm like, Saturday. What, are they, what are they doing? Yo, on? that's crazy. everything, bro. Like I haven't seen it since I was a little kid. It's like but, a variety show. Right? Yeah, so they they would have like just random people, like sometimes kids, sometimes adults. Like they'll they'll um they'll like do music. What the fuck is that shit called? Where you um where you do uh, they do covers for like other for other other stuff oh, yeah. shit like that what? i think they have like they have mad random shit bro yeah but it was funny because when i mentioned this to people specifically latino people they're like also oh, sabado gigante because it's just like you do one episode a week that you dish out so you actually like, watch that shit when i was a little kid because it was just because it was just there I that can't. was like yeah, that's like man. the that's like <laughs> sabado gigante it. is like the oprah so, and then they used to have this um yo this one guy this is. one guy that's like um he was like a midget yeah, no, no, not the oh, the little man that used to run around. They used to Yo, have, um, he wasn't lying. No, yeah. I catch you not. He mentioned his joke like roughly over a decade ago. I never watched it and everything until you mentioned his name. And I'm like, okay, he bullshitting. But when you said that just now, I'm like, yo, it's really a show called that? So, and th- like, there used to be this one guy that used to come out and like, they would boo people off, right? And so when they would start sucking, <laughs> this guy would come out dressed up and some fucking... Oh, that's like, the, that's like that's like the same like that. Like that. Um, yeah, that's like... Yeah. So Tommy it's, Davis, it's nah, ridiculous. that's like the Sandman. That's crazy. Cause they used to have old school variety shows with like Dean, Mar- like way before we were born, like Dean Martin shit like that. Yeah, and yeah. then, um, that's like with like other countries, like even like on like Japanese, Korean TV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even when I was in Morocco, like when we would watch TV, it was just nothing but variety shows. Like that was just it. It was like Sabado Gigante. You know, it's one of my four favorite foreign shows. Most extreme elimination challenge. Oh yeah, the ones with the dubs. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think they, it, I think it's a Japanese. Um, and it came on a Japanese TV. game show. And it's a, yeah. a wall coming TV. down, and yeah. they only do match. And it's just dope. Yeah, it's it's like it's they did but to, they did to that to a game show, but they did to Power Rangers. They were like, yo, we could just dub over this shit again. And this other show, and it's fucking throw that shit out. It is 
fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is like, like that, the show in itself is like, I guess game shows over there yeah. are just like, I guess a big deal. Our games. But they're fucking ridiculous. Well, well, ridiculous it's, 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 it's like, it's like variety. It's like Sabado and Gante, but it's like their version. So like what they'll do is that they'll get like, mostly like, you know, like sometimes they'll get like A-list celebrities, they'll get B-list celebrities, sometimes they'll get foreigners. And they just have them talk shit, do dumb shit, like do crazy yeah. embarrassing stuff. It's just like a variety show. It's just like, it's like the ultimate distraction. That's what I see it as. Because it's just like, you even see like the colors. Everyone's bright colors. Everyone's like, you know, everything is scripted. You have the, you know, you could, if you ever been in a studio audience, right? And then you see the laugh signs. Yeah. I just imagine being there like that shit. Facts. Like you could just. I've never been. Have y'all, actually, have y'all been to any shit like that? So, yeah, yeah, a game show? Actually, no, I have been there. Not yeah. a game show, but like a talk show sh- situation. Yeah. When I was, Which ones? Real was Uncommon Sense. <laughs> nah. In TV2, we had a show called Common Sense with Charlamagne the God. Uh huh. And, um. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard of that. I heard of it. I forgot. That familiar. One of the hosts, she got a, a popping podcast called The Read, if I'm not mistaken. I might be Probably. wrong. That sounds mm-hmm. like sound familiar. But, yeah, I was on there and then I was. You was on the podcast or you was on? I was on the show. Like, uh, I was on the studio on the Yeah. Oh, okay. I was on, I was able to get a cool little cameo on the website. As oh, well. so I was like, like, oh shit, we what? You know, like, mm-hmm. it was dope. If I could be on a game show, what game show would I be on? Fuck. I want to fuck Family Feud up. Yo, I feel I like I could fuck is, Family you know, Feud up, bro. You think? I think so. I, ain't I think it's one of those things where, like, you would kill it, cousins. but then you get there and you're like, Fuck, I'm here. I ain't gonna hold it. The big kid in me. Yeah, right? The big kid in me, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yo! Oh, I know we're doing I'll be, I'll yeah. be, I'll be. Yeah. Did they bring that shit back? I didn't know. That's shit, that don't exist. Yeah, the fuck I would I'll be on the, the, the blue barracudas. Like, yeah, yo, right? what up? Be American. <laughs> What's up? You wouldn't do the monkeys? The golden monkeys? Hell no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I would do, like, um. Like American Gladiator or something, something like that. Mm, nah. Like that shit doesn't exist. But that would I be would, fun to be. Why the fuck would you do American Gladiator? They're gonna get beat the fuck up. No, obviously. I yeah. was very confident after he fucking took six people down back to back. Hey, uh, bro, you brought it, my man. But I, no. I've seen American Gladiator. They look like wrestling stuff. Bro, they do steroids. You know, no, bro, they it, do what's super justice? steroids. What's his nickname? Justice? Was it Justice? Yo, they all had name like when Justice. They look Crusher. Crazy. Fuck when is it? Um, Thunder. Was was. Play Jack in Mortal Kombat. Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, what Jack. Did. The black dude. Oh, they, they, they did. The black You're dude. wildin', bro. Why would you? Why would you even want to be a part of that? Because it'd be, oh, it'd be there fun. Was another, there was another side character from Mortal Kombat that was in one of those shows too. The one with the dreads. In Mortal Kombat, he had his soul taken out of. He's black, and he had the, the long braids. He wasn't a character in the show. He was just a random was black a, guy. He was, oh, he was yeah, he was just okay. a random oh, black guy, man. and Shane soon took his soul. Yeah, yeah. Now you remember? I think yeah. he was in one of them shits. Cause I remember seeing him. They just Cotton. had two people on the show and they yeah. got killed. Yeah. Nah, I'm not. Why? What? So you said, what would you do? Um. Hey, Legends of the Temple. Yeah. I'm, I just want to fuck Tammy Food up. What would you do? <sighs> fuck, man. I just want to fuck the smart ones up. The smart shows up. I just want to fuck them shits up, man. I need a show that I think I can win at. I'm well, not Jeopardy. Good at I don't do Jeopardy. Like I'm that. not good at Jeopardy. I'm, no, I'm, at I'm good at Jeopardy, either. but I'm not what they are on the yeah. show. Yeah. I'm depth. not sitting there just dropping. Nah, I'd be out of my depth. If I choose a, a second game show, it had to be Slam Ball. That she used to come on on Spike TV. It when you like, used to jump on the mats and yes. dunk the ball? Oh. Facts. I would put up for three, fun. like, take that, motherfuckers, get back. Would Wild <laughs> and Out be a game show? No, it'd be like, uh, that's Sketch Comedy. What, what would y'all call it Sketch Comedy? That's I mean, Sketch Comedy. Yeah. Sketch Comedy, yeah. But I guess it, maybe it has Jeopardy. game show. Where's the one where you buy vows and shit? Wheel, wheel of Fortune. fortune. Yeah. I want to do yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel I can spin a fucking wheel. <laughs> I want to. I can. I, I want to. I want to do the shit where you get the soup. The, the I just. I, I hope I don't get a racist. And you can oh, run to the supermarket, supermarket and sweet. buy the most. Yo, stuff. supermarket <laughs> sweet. I fuck that shit. Oh, I'm going Yo. straight to tech. <laughs> iPhone, <laughs> iPhone, <laughs> iPhone, you iPhone, know, iPhone, 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 I'm gonna come back with a car. He's my dream. Like, what did you get? You take that. People are looking like, what? Why do you get all these iPhones? Because I know what to fucking buy, bro. And the retail value is fucking. Who wants to be a millionaire? I no, I, I don't want to do. Who's smarter than a fifth grader? I lose. None of that bullshit. I lose. I lose. Yeah, who's? So yeah, cash I, cab, none I of that give shit. A, by the second round, I'll, I'll, I'll cash so out, please. Thank yeah. you. But, just, but yo, ten thousand dollars, not bad. Like, I'm like, yeah. Would you like to do this, or would you just? I'm out. I'm out. Facts. We actually, we out. actually do need to get um, 
we'll talk about it later, but I know someone who has who's on that show and they want like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Nice. They still have it. I mean, they was it taxed? Uh, yeah, it's always it's taxed. Tax, yeah. It's like a lottery situation. Come on, basically. bro. What are you thinking? About? It's like so it's, it's like stuff like that. It's like they treat it as like a lottery situation. Yeah. Like, like it's funny. So, so like, let's say you win a car. Right, and you accept the car, you have to pay taxes on that. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's why everybody sold the car to Oprah Winfrey gave her? I mean, that could be one reason you have to pay taxes. Pay taxes? On that. Yeah, when she was and, and you, you can't, car, and you can't like not claim it. They have video evidence of you, are you claiming <laughs> of you fucking winning the car. I, know, I didn't know. Like if you get audited and car? you don't claim the car, they're like, hmm, well, we, we saw you on this you show. On this show. <laughs> like, what? I didn't know that. That's really easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember them saying that a lot of people who won a free car sold their shit when um Oprah Winfrey. Was just throwing cars at people. Yeah, sure. You get a car, you yeah. get a car, you get taxed. They sold on their that. shit. They sold their shit because they were like, "Nah, I can't pay the taxes off this car." The Price is Right. That would be a fun show to be on. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Not for me. Really? Why? I can't. I guess think it'd be really bad prices. with prices, bro. I can't guess. I'm prices, so easy bro. to g up. Uh, unless I Google before. Yeah. Me too. No, That's you can pull out your phone line. <laughs> yeah, like how much does this thumb drive cost? My man, I'd be like a hundred dollars. I don't fucking know. Yeah. But what would I pay they're like, more than twenty? They're like, like, like seven dollars now. I would quick uh, look for it. Uh, but how do you know? Because there's some thumb yeah, drives I see for like twenty dollars and then the same exact size, like a hundred twenty dollars. Right, like, right, I never right. Know why. Yeah, I, I, I can't do prices right. I'll fail. They'll put it something shiny, and I'm like three million. I don't know. Someone always listens to the crowd. They'll like they'll have a good guess. You'll. They'll be like, they're like 500, and then somebody's like, they're like, oh, six, 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 and he'll say that shit and then lose. lose like, Did they ever want to be on the There's real There's a documentary. Bro. Fuck no. Fuck no. Okay. No, was yeah. that the only one yes, that was like, was not thinking mm-hmm. about the future? Until <laughs> mm-hmm. I hit 18, I guess. Yo, I try to be, um. I love to be a producer. I try to be on America's Next Top Model. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so you, I, I know what you think of yourself. With Tim. <laughs> <laughs> This is so random. Yo. I'm, I'm cutting your contract. ass after this episode. America's <laughs> next top model. Yeah. It's like a bunch of skinny tall people. Yeah, and you're like, like, I can do this. <laughs> Tyrus, I saw, like, hold your left eye. I saw a different variation eye, of people. Then turn towards the right. They, they didn't want to go school with somebody that was America's next top model? No. So, so I saw the contract, and the contract oh, was very limited. We did. Yes. We, we did. We did? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I can't confirm it. But if there was a rumor that somebody that yeah. went to school with uh, in girl. college, black, no, black skinny. But this is the whole thing. Like I don't didn't necessarily. Someone you would she might watch this episode and be like, Yo, Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know she about? was at the audition that I went to. So this is why. Oh, how offended would you? Because. I'll say it she, right now, I think you better look at her. She's hug. watching episodes. It's not about how you look, bro. It's, it's about, about how you, it. it's about how you can carry the clothes. Yeah, because when I remember when they had that uh that the the competition. I did show. not make it because I was unattractive. <laughs> First though. I don't know. Okay. I, sure. I saw the contract and I was like, nah, I'm not jacking it. Okay. So sure. what did it say in the contract? Bro, it was like they first of all they wanted your life. They wanted your social media. They wanted everything moving forward. You can't. Damn, they were proactive about yeah, social media. They, they wanted. They, they wanted everything, bro. They wanted um anything you're gonna do moving forward. Any contacts you have. They wanted your phone. They wanted what? to see your text every night. They wanted to talk to it. Like everything. What? Like, it's like you're fucking you, pledging. You had to sign. You had to sign so much. And, <laughs> you're pledging. And it wasn't. It wasn't like a. Idol. And it wasn't like your, your uh, model. It wasn't yeah, like you're signing. Model, model. You weren't signing like for like one day. It was like a ten year thing. So you had to be in oh. constant contact with them for ten years. What? Because yeah, they wanted they wanted everything about you to like be under their. Do you remember contract. that I did a fashion show? Tim signed the contract. I that I did a fashion show. show? Yeah, I don't know that shit. How come you didn't audition? Or did you when we didn't pick you? I didn't want to be a model, bro. <laughs> when I did it, I told you I was supporting a friend. There was, was like, no go there was no contract with me. I, I, I was can't su- go back in time now. Fuck you. I, I was support you. Yeah. And y'all did new pictures, so I remember that shit. That's cool. I was no, supporting it. Yeah, y'all did new pictures, bro. Y'all did topless pictures. You remember that shit? Oh, so it's sad. They look like bathing suits. Sure. The titties out. Tim, Tim did it, and he signed all the pages, and I said, bro, you got to read this shit. And he was like, nah, I'm just going to keep signing it. <laughs> Wait, he get no, I'm gonna just wilding, keep signing. Bro. Yo, fuck that. <laughs> and I, said, nah, I, said, I, I, I randomly lucked up and was able to um do the Yeezy season three fa- fashion show. Oh, you was in it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you do fashion shows? Nah, I just lucked up that one time and that was it. Wait, so you kept it close? when you when you nah. did it, what does that mean? Like you, how were you a part of it? Were you just... I mean, I just showed up to the uh, casting when he tweeted it out one day. It was like, all right, I'm here. See what's going to happen. Is that what you said? Did you say it exactly <laughs> like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. I just I saw the tweet. I pulled up. Uh-huh. I was like, all right. 
They told me, take your shirt off. I'm like, yo, I didn't even shave. I'm like, luckily I worked out. <laughs> yeah. I did mad push-ups and all, but okay, you can put you your shirt off. He was there in the lobby doing push-ups. Yeah. Just nah, not like... even that, but just <laughs> prior, before prior and everything. But yeah. got to the crib. Two days later, yo, can you come to Madison Square Garden and be there by like 6 o'clock in the morning? I'm like, excuse me? Next thing you know. Mm-hmm. Did you actually say that? Just Press like you said, yeah, hey, I'm I here. Like, yeah, excuse, excuse me? me? Yeah, he was like, yeah, we're from you Easy what? Season are, 3 are and you? everything. Kanye West, Easy Season 3. I was like, all right, cool. Get there. They was, we was just chilling, vibing so, out. So <laughs> Did you, um, um. And like, boom, he had, came around, show love. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, how tall is he? He's like 5'9", right? He's like my Yeah, name. roughly. 5'9", five 5'10". Nine, five <laughs> nine. At the time, he was cool as shit. Because this, this, this is around the time the Life of Pablo, St. Pablo came out. Okay, he wasn't that. Yes, he was that. No, he wasn't uh, that bad. I, I actually like the album. Yeah, no, the, the album, like his music. I, right, so I, I didn't oh, listen oh, to I any music. I actually like the album. Are you, Yo, still, you still a comedy triggered? Fan? Are you still a comedy <laughs> fan right now? No, not really. No, I haven't listened to any of his shit. Man, you wore his shit in his fashion show. I'm going to keep it a stack. I'm like, I Come don't. On, bro. Kanye if, I feel you like you I, feel, go? I feel like he ever since that right situation now. with Trump, <laughs> that Trump <laughs> comment, he went down downhill from there. You didn't have to sign no contract for that shit. Nah. Oh. Mm-mm. So you got paid though. Mm-hmm. They kept all the things they took of you. It was a good enough. Time. It was. It was solid. It was decent enough to make me miss like a week. Of a work. Work. work? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. That that's the one with the holy shit. Yeah, man, holes in the clothing. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, they look like it, it but looks the, like a, a the crazy like thing a about it you have to pay a grand to look the homeless crazy, the crazy thing about it is like it wasn't his clothes though when they everybody that was like actually modern hit the stuff mm-hmm. it wasn't his clothes at all he just got some shit you could see at thrift stores or whatever what clothes classes in there it was just yeah. modeling the sneakers and he made the, the clothes exactly. bummy so you could model the sneakers exactly everything I did not bum, know that everything looked bummy for a reason for that show because it's like Nothing didn't come out yet officially. And he just wanted the kicks to look fun. Right. So why that why, why not go sense. just plain? Why not Still just go plain kind of. plain solid <laughs> color? I would go plain solid color. Why and, go shit? And that's what he did. But it's the, just the but the temp the template of everything and the way he maps everything out is like all right, it's like a dingy color, but it's like a bummy dingy color because he knows he's gonna come out with that bun that bummy dingy look. Yeah. So. Well, to be honest, I don't think that many people would have spoken about it if he didn't do that. Cause I'm thinking that's the only thing I remember about that event. The, 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 the bummy clothes, yeah. She wasn't too crazy about the album. I, I, actually I like haven't even album. listened to it. Honestly, it's more because like in the, the, the same like Pablo or the last album. No, the like, last album. Like just in general, I haven't really bro, listened to, con- to, to Kanye because he's like, yo, my man, he's 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 like he's Black Trump, son. That's what it feels mm-hmm. like to me. Like I feel like he's really starting a cult, and he's trying to fucking, and he's just trying to take advantage of poor. Poor people, poor black people. I don't fucking know. That's what I'm thinking. To me, he feels like a black Trump. Which sucks. I believe it. But I don't know. I'm assuming his music is still fire. That's the whole thing. I still expect his music to be fire. And I want somebody to tell me whether it is or not before. That's the subject. I tried. Yeah, I looked up. (laughs) So cool. Wait, so have you have you ever met somebody that you were like starstruck? Like you were like, holy fuck, I can't believe. I actually interviewed him. So. I was with you, Kanye. No, oh, okay. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> nah, I wish at the time I wish, but when I when I was working at the Source magazine, it was during the 25th anniversary of Biggie's death, and you interviewed Biggie. His hologram. Yeah, nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. His hologram. <laughs> yo, bro. Nah, why you say yo, bro? <laughs> why you say yo? What you about <laughs> to tell me, bro? Pop out, bro. But nah, <laughs> um, Fabulous is getting honored by uh. Icon. Yeah, I was able to interview him. <laughs> <laughs> nervous as fuck. I had cotton mouth. Why were you nervous? Was this before we found out? This is way before. Oh, okay. Okay. We, 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 we <laughs> not made a go. We not about to do that shit. Nah, we ain't about to do that shit. F a b o l o u s. Listen, <laughs> I'm not a, a advocate of you know men putting hands on young ladies and whatnot, but still, everybody has a past. You were shook about that. Wait, so when you do interviews, do you like have come with a pre-script or you just let it flow like this? Pre-script situation. Um, I like to come with a game plan and be well prepared. Mm-hmm. No more questions I'm gonna ask. Come up with a you know tempo flow situation. So. Do you, you mm-hmm. get to pick your own questions Damn. and shit like that? Yeah. Or, oh, that's yeah, pretty. Conducting Sounds like and we everything. should. Yeah. Come so, up with him. Nah. But he was nah. cool as shit. Nah. <laughs> as nervous as I was, he was mad cool. He's half Dominican. Yeah. 
But he, he was being hacked with anything. Anybody you ever interviewed or would remember you outside of the interview? Like, if they see you again, they'd be like, oh, it was you from... Yeah, surprisingly, um, G Herbo remembered me. I don't know how, where, though, but he did. Because when I was working at The Source, he was like, oh, shit. some stuff. He was looking like, yeah, I remember you. Uh, yo, let's link up work again. I'm like, oh, okay, let's link up. Unfortunately, it never happened and all, but yeah. You, you got to get their numbers, bro. I mean, you never try to get the number. Like, yo, let me. I'm not in no, no goopy type of situation. <laughs> I don't know. That's just not me number. though. Just, just but yeah, work, true, true though. Just true. to work, to work more in the future. I would have got the mm-hmm. number. Like, yo, let me get your number. We can link up. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Is there anyone you do the met base for? Like, do the base podcast. They, they blew do the base, up, po- blew up? base podcast. Like, you know, base podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or anybody yeah. specifically you're thinking of that? It was just like, oh, you met them before, and I saw Cardi B at the show party before she was later. They just like. Cardi B. Fucking well, humongous. Um, yeah, like on some Cardi B type shit or, you know, just some shit like that. Um, Beyonce. Twice, Car Anthony Towns. I met him mm, I during that basketball playing. Basketball. He was the he was number one overall pick in the 2015 NBA draft. That's when I met him. Fast forward to now, I, I had did an interview with him during the Gatorade National High School after the year ceremony and... Mm. That was like what four or five years span since we we met each other, saw each other. Oh, that's cool. He don't remember me, obviously, but yeah, you know, yeah. I knew that off. You got a beard now. Yeah. You got a beard now, so you probably yeah, didn't exactly. yeah, right. Like, you look yeah. Really different. Exactly, like, so you're like oh, and plus, I was, it's a different platform. So, mm-hmm. but off rip, I'm like, oh, okay, number one pick. He has a solid career. He's mm-hmm. an all star, two time all star, three time mm-hmm. all star at that. Nice. And look at him right now, you know. So, yeah. It was cool. Solid, say the least. Yeah. What about like a, a bad guest, like a bad some, some, that someone that was just terrible, like yeah, you, you just want cooperative or like ass interview, you know? Um, he was like, why are you here? Like, that, why are we talking? Do you know the dude that created that 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 uh, squeezy dance, that SpongeBob little kid? Shit? Yeah, the backpack. The backpack kid. Oh, backpack. Why, backpack kid. why backpack they made you kid. interview the backpack kid? You didn't have a choice. At my job, he's huge. Yeah. He got yeah. huge yeah. though, so bro. He has yeah. that. He I has, know he did, yeah. but why the he fuck would they make him interview of, that kid? Because it was, it was Space like I said. What the fuck did he say? Exactly. What the fuck did he say? I just imagine he he would just get flustered and just start doing the dance. Yo, literally, bro, something's wrong with him. And I, just get him his- I'm asking him, like good conversation, like good questions where you could, you know, engage in a conversation situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I him. don't Not know really. because <laughs> I was. I'm looking like how old was he at the time, or how how old is he when he when you interviewed him? He had wow. to be like 17, 16, oh, 17. Mm-hmm. So you you was probably just sitting there like yeah. at six, 16, 16, you 17. To I had some kind of you know, like yeah. train of thought. Mm-hmm. Some kind of personality on that nigga had nothing. But I get, he I get the dance. Yeah, but I can see <laughs> because it's like literally, it's really hard because like I can see why he could be I like be that. I would be Like I, I looked at, I looked at my podcast person who's like it. editing everything out. I looked at him like, <laughs> like, are, are you serious, bro? Yeah, like he looked at me like. <laughs> Me and him was okay. out of eye. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You got Yeah. You got to get this one through. I mean, it's crazy. Like, if you become <laughs> that famous when you're that young, when you just do something silly and then... Where is he from? It's like, you know... Minnesota? Somewhere. I forgot. I forgot. Idaho. I just... <laughs> Why'd you be... Why'd you be New York? I'm, bro, seeing, I'm seeing him in my <laughs> mind. <laughs> I'm seeing him in my mind. I can just imagine him just like... Well, he, he had Doing the, the dance, the like fucking hair. stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he has to be close to a the, city. The stupid ass. He had a little backpack and, and the little... Yeah. yeah. The haircut. He would have and it. And he did the white. dance. Yeah. He must be close to the city, I think. I hate that fucking dance. What a passion. It's just interesting. It's like when young people become really famous, like really young, I just imagine... Justin Bieber? Like, like for for you example, you catch a bar with Justin. I wouldn't mind interviewing him. Like, like, but, but for example, like, what is that? Truth be told, what does that do to you as as a person? Because like, growing up, it's it's hard enough just handling life in general. But you're right. throwing all the all this money, all these accolades, and your your brain isn't even fully developed. Like, how do you how do you deal with that? Like, it, it's no wonder that a lot of child stars have issues. At the end of the day, life yeah. is going to oh, humble you regardless. Though you gotta. Really make sure you on your P's and Q's on, with that situation, one way or the other. If it's right now at the moment or later on down the road, life is gonna humble you regardless. Yeah. So how you gonna react to it or handle it at the end of the day is is really important. Yeah. You know, because that situation backpack hit, 
That was like years ago, and I'm like, bro, couple years down the line, you better have the right mansion because you about to get fucking milked, like literally. Oh yeah, yeah. Because oh, that's that's that's. You I felt help, I kind of feel bad. You have to, you have because to. it's like the mansion team you with right now. They either od milk you out your bread, mm-hmm. or this might be your last year. Yeah, go around and whatnot, no, make this your is money and everything. That might be like, that yeah, might be a like, blessing, bro. Like, that might be a blessing, like because it's sad. It's like, yo, you got no train of thought. You can't really think for yourself. You can't really see can't what's going on at hand. Yeah. Like, I just hope dude. whenever every time I see that, I just hope that one, you know, one day that they get a hold of things and and they have good people in their corner because it's like a lot of people, you know. A lot, a lot of people are envious of people who mm-hmm. who are just like young and famous for you know maybe for a good reason or not good reason right yeah shout out, shout out to Selena yeah so <laughs> so it's like works, but... do I, no, no, Selena Gomez no Selena Oh, sing- oh, Selena the singer, yeah. just just Selena, not Selena like, Gomez, just Selena. Selena. Like, oh, yeah. this- oh, who got killed by? Um, oh, Selena, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I, the movie. Oh, you a fool, Pat. That's that's an extreme <laughs> example. <laughs> You're an asshole, right that. bro. Like, like, you're like, about, you, no? you said a Netflix. <laughs> Ain't the Netflix um series coming out for her? I think really? so. I don't remember. Yeah, who she got that, a Netflix though. series coming out. I don't remember who's playing her though. It's some young. Who played in the movie Jello, right? Yeah, that was the, the very first time I distinctly remember J Lo. Me too. She had was the that wagon movie. in that movie. Oh, go, oh he, yeah. but nah, Selena had a wagon in real life. Selena was uh-huh. fire. Yeah, in fact, she's one she of the did. few. Um, she though she was the only Mexican that had the bunk. I rest her soul because I can't really like. Selena's she had the she had the bunk. Yeah, Selena was fire. Yeah. Unanimous decision. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying that? You were saying something about uh, young people getting fucked over? No, no, I'm just saying that it's, it's just kind of sad because it's like, you know, people tend to be envious of that and like look at them a certain way, but like you were saying, I almost feel feel bad for them because it's like yeah. thrust in that situation. It's like if you look at, you know, examples of people that are like that, Justin Bieber, mm-hmm. Mike Tyson, things like that, the, you know, you have vultures around you. you. Yeah, exactly. You have sycophants around you. You have people who, who use you. Like, you're always a target. And it's like, mm-hmm. you can't blame these people for lashing out, doing ju- drugs, becoming jaded. Because I'm like, kids, though, man. I yeah, exactly. So I'm shit. glad you missed I've done so much stupid shit. And, kids, okay, and man. imagine exactly. that. But, a and like, imagine like, someone does that and you have $100 million a, dollars. Shit. In your face, and everyone knows you. Listen, it's like you're a fucking target, bro. Experience is the best teacher in any day. You just mentioned it, Justin Bieber. It's Mike Tyson out of all people. He's like 20, 22, 23 years old, not keeping people hated out. Being and have over 100 million in Sonny, his pocket. He was, he was 20. Mad coke with his nose. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, he was, he was like 20. 20. Youngest heavy, heavyweight champion yeah. ever. Fucking monster. But he, he didn't have nobody to spit that gym like, yo. Little nigga, you wilding right now. Chill out. Yeah, once Customato right died, now. who is really was the only guy in this exactly. corner. Exactly. Who was that? Over, it. He started bugging. Hence why his experience is the best teacher because one way or another, life is going to humble you and right you, now or later on down the road. Whether yeah. it's you, whether it's your family members, whether it's, it's your child, God forbid. Grandchildren, God forbid. Because trust me, it's, it's going to come. Yeah. I feel like it it's, a lot of times experience is the only way you will. It's the only be. teacher. Because I think about things that, like, my relatives told me before. Like, I remember specifically, like, college. And my aunt trying to, like, get the point across that the name of the school matters more than anything else. Regardless of how good the curriculum may be. Because this is more when she was trying to advise me what schools to apply to. And I just went by. Well, I mean, I went to engineering, so that's a little different. But, like, I was just thinking engineering ranking. She was like, yeah, that's important. But she was like the name of the school matters a lot. And that didn't hit me until afterwards mm-hmm. where when, when so I met went people that what? went to like Ivy League schools, yeah. but they graduated with like degrees that I'd be like, are phony degrees. Right. And mm. they were getting like six figure jobs right off the bat. But it was yeah, more like they knew the, the reputation of that school and mm-hmm. the type that's of personality right. attracts. And that's that's the one thing I didn't get. It's, not but wor- it's networking. Yeah, but like so yeah, uh, to me, at least on my end, like me, not, me being first gen and shit yeah. like that, like, what school you ended up going to? My fault. I mean, uh, Penn State. This is where, where I met all of them. Okay, copy, copy, copy. Yeah. But like that was one thing that like I did not learn until well after where I started looking for jobs and shit like that. Like I was like, oh mm. shit, the name does matter. That's true. Yeah. More than anything else, I would and it, and it's hard because like I graduated from HBCU and went to um I graduated from school in Norfolk, Virginia, Norfolk State University. Oh, okay. And it's like, our campus is beautiful right now. I'm super duper 
proud of where I'm coming from and everything. But at the same time, it's so hard to get that name out because everybody knows the typical HBCU whenever you mention HBCU, which is the Howards, the Hamptons, yeah. Southern U, um, Grambling State. So it's like it's other campuses, other yeah, institutions that's to... that's you know teaching excellence to these kids mm-hmm. that deserve recognition. So when you mention that name is very important, it's looking like okay, I get what you're saying because it's like we people like me who graduate from a, a decent school like Norfolk State doesn't get that recognition because they see it as a, like a small school in Virginia, right by the military base. Where possibly the the clips came from and Pharrell came from yeah, yeah, and yeah. like they a bunch of rappers ooh whatever yeah. but we we installed like some dope engineers some dope broadcast mm-hmm. people some dope people who's in IT and everything so but it's the name of the school that matters exactly you know yeah so. I would I would say on on the front end when you're first starting but mm-hmm. I think like for example like we're we're on pretty good places right I yeah. think is. It's not necessarily easy to transcend it, but I think if you go above and beyond, not even above and beyond, like just just making just doing things that other people don't do, I think right. that's what mm-hmm. sets you apart. Like something very simple, like just reaching out to the right. people that you want to work for, rather than just applying for something, mm-hmm. but actually talking to people. Like, hey, you know, let's get lunch. Let me let me talk to you. Networking right? is key. And the more and and when I started doing this, I had no concept of like this really i just thought it was some shit to do to get it you know to get to get my foot in the door and people are super receptive to that i Mm -hmm. i I just had no i found that out by accident it's like people that you would think that would make no time for you if they feel like you're generally interested in what they're interested in they'll make time for you and if you say oh yeah let me buy you lunch I mean, they're like, "Fuck it, this guy's gonna buy me lunch," and one hundred percent of the time, you know, you don't even end up paying anyway. Because they're, they're not gonna let you pay. Because you're showing them yeah. interest. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, you you basically just stroking the ego, pause on some of the strength that, like, you know, yo, he's showing some kind of like interest or some kind of intention where you know I want to be in the yeah. same field doing the same things yeah. they doing. It has little, to be genuine. And little, so, and little um, stuff like that, that has to be goes genuine, a far way like yeah. so what would you how'd you get into like what you do now like did you study something specifically or was it like you would check it shit out i went like, i actually went to school to become a um anchor and anchor man sports anchor that was my that's still my dream job but my major was broadcasting it's crazy thing about it is i didn't really get inside the industry until i started doing journalism with the source magazine mm-hmm. my very 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 first big interview was with Damian Lillard, the Portland Trailblazers. Mm. This is around the time he was coming. They was coming out with NBA Live 2015, I Damn, believe. Live. Sure. And and yeah. that's and that's yeah. when he was like he was good. beast and yeah, beast in the prom. He was good. I I ain't played a game. No, what before meeting him? Like before. Oh, I, I did a phone interview with him. <laughs> oh, so I didn't really get to meet him like face to face. But yeah. me humbling, young by like young behind the ears, wet behind the ears, and everything. Yeah. yeah. I did a phone interview because I didn't know that, okay, I can meet him in person. But still, I was able to get that under my resume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's little things that 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 counts in there. Because yeah. mm-hmm. at the time when I was able to interview him, I was working at Verizon, trying to figure out ways it was like a stack up, move out my mom's crib, pay mm-hmm. the bills at the same time, but want to pursue my dreams. Mm-hmm. So I remember that day. It was on a Friday because I was supposed to went to my school's homecoming. And I canceled it because this is like, yo, this might be the start of something major. I literally rushed home, tired as fuck because I was in lower Manhattan, fixing files, mm-hmm. dial up situations and everything. The, the phone interview didn't last for like a good 20, 30 minutes. He was cool as shit. Mm. Damien Lillard is like one of my favorite people I ever interviewed. Shout out to Dame Lillard, Dame Dollar. Mm-hmm. Like he's the first person yeah. to introduce me to Dame Dollar, the actual alter eagle mm-hmm. rapper and everything. Like sure long, st- like little stuff like that goes a long way. Sure man. Guys number. If you're hungry and you want to get into the business you desire for and whatnot, you're gonna have to put forth the effort. That's true. That that put forth the the actual attention you need to get inside that and everything. Mm-hmm. So, and it came a long way. Like it led up to where I'm at right now. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll be at Sports Center. Or ESPN. Okay. So, so you're, there. so you're interested in being like, like, 
Yeah, Stephen I, I, like honestly speaking, oh, my, you want to be Stephen A? Ha, you want to be Stephen A? I don't want to be called <laughs> out like Stephen A because T T T O definitely called him out earlier today, but that's a different discussion and everything. But I would like to be like him, mm-hmm. but I want to have my do my own. So thing like who? So terms. so like who? Who do you line most with? Like like if you were to name like a broadcast, are you like Ron Burgundy, Stephen A? Are you are you like uh are you like uh Shannon Sharp? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you right top of the head? I like I try to look try to get in, introduce my own swag to it. So it's Ron Burgundy with Stuart Scott, mix mix the two together, mix it up together. Okay, right okay. Mesh mesh it up. That's that's like you two, see me right now, bro. Like that's two up. polar mm-hmm. opposites. I like to turn up, but at the same my time, I have scotch. the knowledge where we can mix pop culture, hip hop culture, sports all into yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Can sense. a brother get a witness? He has cool as the other side of a pillow. Yeah, like, I study that. He's the main reason why I'm into broadcasting journalism and everything. Mm-hmm. Bro, let's let, let's likes... talk after this then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you know Stuart Scott? There's no, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't, know. I don't know Stuart Scott. <laughs> but at the no, same time, talk. Talk. it goes uh, back uh, when yeah, I said yeah. earlier, like rep- <laughs> representation is broadcasting. Show, but, you, you hate this nigga, bro. <laughs> but it goes Secret back to what I said earlier, like representation is key because if it wasn't for Stuart Scott, I would probably you know, okay, just something else. Facts. Damn, so, alright, cool. Wait, so which is your, your, your oh, preferred shit. sport? I don't watch sports at all. At all. I used to play, like, um, basketball, I think, was the most. I watched badminton. What yeah, the fuck drunk. is that? He's fucking drunk. No. Badminton. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, it's I like, like basketball. fucking bad. It's, it's like, he watched too much movies. Think like, about it. It's like Nerf so Tennis. Like, Nerf uh, Tennis? Like, not wait, literally. Wait, wait, wait. Like, it's, it's Nerf Tennis. Nah, so it's, it's Nerf Tennis. It's Nerf Tennis. It's Nerf Tennis. You said what? It is. Yes, it, it is. is. It has, a, it has yeah. an actual league and everything. Okay. No, it, it, it's okay. a sport. They be diving, UFL, touch, bro. Yeah, like yeah. You never seen UFO? What was something else? There was something else I used to count in college that I used to be like, it's not a fucking sport. Hacky sack. We got in this whole argument. My old roommate, they were like, cheerleading. It's, it's cheerleading a sport. Oh, it's cheerleading and, we, and, we, and, and, and we used to troll. We used to troll him. Son, I used cheer- to troll him so hard. I was like, Yo, I was like, Yo, Bill, it is a sport. And then he would get upset, and then no, I would troll him so hard. They and give- I, would, I would be like, No, it's a sport because it's competitive. Because it's this, and he would just I'm gonna flip hold you. shit. They give out actual scholarships for cheerleading. They do. Yeah. They actually pay grown ass men to be NFL cheerleaders. No, NBA it's no, cheerleaders, it's no joke. All the above. So yes, it is a sport. I'm not going to judge that man at all to be like, yo, you a cheerleader? Is that what you want to sell? Prestige. Oh, I think it's prestige. 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 My bad. But you said Stella? I can't read. Like, that's definitely a sport. Without a doubt. Because I seen dudes at my school cheerleading their asses off. Even better than some of the chicks. I'm looking like, yo, nah, this thing is too elite. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Sunday, Yo, that Sunday. shit happened earlier when I opened up the video. You slam it too hard on the counter. No, it's not it. Oh, that's not it. So, so, it? so who y'all, who, who, y- okay, one of the celebrities y'all wanted to um meet or interview on our podcast. Joe Rogan, Jackie Yo, Joe Rogan. On your, po- on your podcast Joe or whatever. Rogan. Joe Rogan. It's crazy because yeah. no, my web, fucking, my website do a lot of Joe Rogan, Rogan coverages and stories and whatnot. So let's because no one ever him. interviews him. That's the thing. Yeah. He mm-hmm. has everyone on his show, or or have someone like a Bill Burr, someone like oh, that. Oh, Bill Burr would be. Funny. I do want a comedian. I want a lot of comedians on this podcast. This They're is cool. Or Patrice O'Neill. A day to the Yeah, rest in peace. Bring up dead people. Why we keep doing that? We bring up dead because dead Patrice shows, dead O'Neill is hilarious. I would want. I, I would want a Dave Chappelle, or um, my cousin's a comedian. I would want him on my podcast, mm. but he doesn't know he's my cousin. Who's your cousin? <laughs> uh, it's this dude from Wild Out. From the old episodes, he looked like he looked. He was a big, funny nigga. I can't remember his name though. Your cousin? Some cousin? Yeah. You a bad family member? Nah, I found, I found out I was wait, related wait, to him. From Island Out. Which season one? Yeah, like in the beginning. He's a big guy. Yeah. You you a bad cousin, bro? I mean, we're not real. We're cousins, but we don't. We haven't. That's true though. I, like, I, I had, I've <laughs> seen him at an event. Apparently, I'm related to Ice Cube, but I don't believe that shit. Through, I believe it. Through who? Find out. Through who? Through, through, my, through my mother's side. Apparently, she told me that. 23 and you. Like, yo, oh, nah, you, you relate to Ice Cube. I'm looking like, That's you funny. full of shit. Do marriage. What the hell? Like, I didn't say you full of shit, but I gave her that look like. I don't have a bad. 
Like Deacon. Yeah, no, I had a family member that just that would <laughs> always on TV be like, oh yeah, that's your cousin. But they would always mention names. That guy from the, the black guy, he's in one of the uh, Law and Orders, and he was also in a bunch of Tyler Perry movies Fucking or some awesome. shit. I, the only the only like quote unquote famous relative I know was a guy by the name of Strafe. He made a song called Set It Off back in the days that was lit. Set it off on the left. That was your cousin. That's my cousin. Wow. Through marriage. Through, on oh, my that's father's dope. side. Yeah, that's my cousin. <laughs> that's dope. I'm going to hold you. Shout out to Fabricate Projects. That's where you're from. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> See, you not woke. Exactly. Yeah, the case you step into that shit. Yeah, that's my cousin. <laughs> that's uh-huh. funny, bro. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Um, Jeffrey Facts. Holcomb is a nigga name. Oh, yeah. the. Yes. Yeah, he's my cousin. Okay. Dope. Apparently. Mm-hmm. I got cousins that have been on TV But not famous I got a cousin that's an artist uh, Y'all meet him this Saturday Because he's coming through His name is Y'all meet him? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, you said y'all meet y'all. Oh, my bad. That is kind of a Dominican name. Y'all meet him. Y'all meet him. Y'all meet him. My bad, bro. Coffee always that like mad Dominicans have mad. Y'all meet him. Weird names, and I'm fucking. And it's a girl. And yo, there's Jamaica, which is John Michael. Jamaica. I have friends Xavier, Darren X, Xavier, Charlene. My that's an RPG character. I have. I have my Haley, my Jose, my Haley. It's a lot of mad mice. weird names, bro. But my name is Jose. <laughs> <laughs> my unoriginal you to get the name? Ad, yeah, fuck yeah, Jose, man. People guess my name by what, accident. What name would you want? <laughs> people, what? Jose some Ali? shit like like um like I don't know some shit that sounds solid, suave like Levon. I think that would be a dope name if I had my name. If my name. Was <laughs> he flipped it. Because that shit is <laughs> suavemente. <laughs> Can you ask my business, sir? Do say something myself. Yo, when I first told Edwin to get uh do say he thought it was a joke. <laughs> he, didn't even... <laughs> he didn't know it was a real He thought player. it was like yo, do says or some shit like yeah. that. Is that what you thought? Yeah, I didn't Ooh. know what the fuck that was. They they sent it in a group chat. They're like, yeah, do say. I'm like, do do say, okay. <laughs> Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Expand your horizon, my guy. Yeah, well I did. I'm I'm drinking oh, you this episode's Duce? brought to you by Unofficially Do Say. <laughs> Because they got Duce Palooza if we could get sponsored by such and such. <clears throat> I mean, it took a while for... Pay attention. Any, Just look out for us. Come on, How man. long did it start? It, any um, Palooza started in a fucking college apartment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now they're at the Barclays Center. That's with everything. Everything Friday starts in a fucking the college. It started right here. Yeah. Not started Disney. somewhere else in a basement. Next thing you know, y'all motherfuckers will be in the Hulu, a a Hulu Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Hulu Theater? Yo, talking Netflix, the, talking the same bullshit. Very, Netflix has been showing a lot of love. <laughs> to, I'm being a French bro. I was, I was, I was, I was guessing that shit. Yeah. Dead yeah. ass. Speaking of, you're gonna um, look at me like, who this nigga? <laughs> I want to talk to y'all about um, trying to occupy space at like Anime Con and Comic Con and shit like that. Because really? when I went there and I saw the niggas playing video games, like there was really nothing there. Like they, they just had a GameCube, I mean a Switch, some controllers, and. They weren't doing anything. I would destroy everything. And I was sitting there like, nah, oh, shit. we can literally set up like some microphones, camera, switch, Make it happen. and just, just play have a bunch of content, people, bro, and do Make nothing it all day. So now you I'm know, like, I'm you like, know every time bro. what I'm thinking about right now, well, the Street Fighter tournament in college. Were you there when we went I was to that there. shit? And yeah. I fucked up and I picked Vega like a dickhead. Yeah, but it was just great to see. I lost. Us coming in and no, I didn't have Drew, fun. Drew, y'all, y'all were placing Drew fucked really up. good. Drew fucked up. That's no, just y'all, I lost. Because the, the whole thing is just like everybody, yeah, like, you, you expect, you expect them to look like nerds. Mm-hmm. And like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't look like 100% nerds. That's what it was. It felt good because we pulled up looking like. They, they were looking at like us. Like, too cool. Yeah. Like, too cool to, to be nice at video to, games. To be playing video games. Like you pulled All of us yeah. played. I don't even play. I was just talking shit. Yo, there was this one particular we kid. Every time, time we were playing, he'd be like, well, you need to do this, and you need to do that. And he was just referencing <laughs> very specific shit. And then after the tournament, I was like, yo, let's play a few games, right? So Thank he you. picks, like, Seth. He picks, like, this high-tier character. And I just Isn't fucking the final boss? Yeah, yeah, and I just fucking destroy him, and I thought it was funny. And every every time he had something to say, he's like, "Well, I probably should have did this after that." I'm like, "All right, cool." Do that next. Let's, let's, see, that yeah, made me yeah, laugh yeah. is that like the the person who was playing was the same. Like we were laughing. That yeah. Shit fucking I remember the off. first guy I yeah, played. Yeah, we, we were laughing when we were beating them, so they were getting more upset. <laughs> I remember like, the first guy I played. And he came with the controller, and everyone was like, "He he picked Rufus," and everyone's like, "Oh, oh yo, he's nice." And I picked Zangief, Spank and him. then and then spanked him. 
I well, I think I lost the first round. Everyone's like, okay, now when the second round, people are like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then I and then I trashed him, and then he was just like, and then I was just like, what the fuck you mean? Like I done fuck some shit. Yeah, like next. Man, yeah, I no, I, I was trying to be humble, but in the inside, I'm like, yo, bro, you got that whole fucking two hundred dollar fucking arcade stick, mm-hmm. like. That's why I want to go. Go pat this little nigga. <laughs> yeah, right. I want to go to the tournament and just kind of. Fuck shit up. Yeah, See, that's not my type of outfit, We should go in suits, man. bro. Just go in. Just go in suits. Suits and just play, not say anything. Yeah. And don't talk just to nobody. Play. When just they call your name, we don't respond to you unless you speak in the We wear shades. We don't. Looking for Lavon, he pull up with a suit. I'll pull up, yeah. Like, hey guys. We wear sh- shades. Don't take is them off. Smash Brothers or Smash Brothers? Can I play? We we'll just look like the Can men in <laughs> Who's this like character? Agents. Yeah, who's I this want, character? I want to play with him. Hadouken. <laughs> Start fucking shit up. <laughs> um. Top three rappers. Uh, I Kanye. interview or right now? Kanye. Oh, Kanye. Or Tom Kanye. 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 How many interviewed? How many Damn, Damn actually, how, how many, many, how many people, people have you bro? interviewed? Oh, it's a shitload. Bro, he just said that what, like he was a is, Vietnam is, War veteran. He's, he's like, oh, man. Man. Double. Gotta be double. Interview-wise, um, Fab or Fred, he gotta be like, might be one or two. Did you ever interview anyone for Wu Tang? Almost did. Uh, woo! I'm obsessed with Wu Tang. I'm sorry, no, I take that RZA? back. I did actually. Who? Was it Rizza? No, it wasn't Rizza. It was okay. um Raekwon, the chef. Oh, oh! What? Cool that's fucking dope. That's dope. Su- super dude, cool as shit. OG vibes, dope, regular dude, man. That's fucking fire. He he's up there too. I'm trying um, to think who I would want to meet from Wu Tang. Method All of them. I was trying to meet Method Man, but at the time I was trying to do the interview, he was like pulling up to the event madly. He literally had to run inside because this it happened during Tribeca Film Festival. Mm. So they was, show? They showed, yeah, the big, they showed the first two episodes of the, um, the, show. the documentary, not the show, oh, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But That's up. Between man. him and unfortunately, I wish it was longer I was able to ask like one and a half, two questions to Nas. Uh, oh, that's dope. That's pretty fucking dope, yeah. man. He looked at me like, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm like, I was listening to Street Dreams. I'm like, Street Dreams. <laughs> yeah. I was looking like, wait. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. That's fucking dope. It's just cool whenever you can put like an yeah. actual face to this idea yeah. that we have of a person. Like we consume their shit, yeah. we'll see them there, but it's, Cool, actually interacting with them, it's, it's just yeah. way different, bro. Yeah. I'd be really geeked out by it. Me and like Nas or Jay Z, yeah, just because I listen oh, to the backpack music. Kid. So, uh, he's I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to I don't pick a blind of little no white kids. Well, I probably teach him. One of the people that, of that grew on me was Dave East. I didn't, I thought he would really? be an yeah, asshole. Like I thought he was, a, he was an asshole, but when I first met him, I met him Why twice. He He's the because, Dominican. Because he was hmm. tall, light-skinned nigga. I'm looking like, all right, cool. Oh. All the choices are him. But when I every time I like linked up with him, chop it up with him, even off the record, during the interview and all, oh, you mean cool him as shit. Often? Yeah, like, I ran into him like, quite a few times. Cool as shit. Mad fucking cool. Shout out to Davies. Yo, Mad tell him, tell him I like to burn, too. In case he wants to, he, he, he probably he wants to like, yo, session. I got you. All right, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> hey, I think I got him to be podcast guest. Mm-hmm. He's um, where, where was he from? He's like from um, Harlem. Yeah, he is he from Harlem? Yeah, I thought he was Harlem. higher up. Um, Davies. He's, he's, he's a Dykeman dude, me. but he grew up like that's what Queens. I thought. Dykeman motherfucker. Dykeman. Oh, sorry. Because I remember seeing the the videos the of Dykeman not Harlem. And I remember it's seeing higher. the the stuff up in Dykeman. Higher Harlem. I used to live around there, so I used to walk there all the time. Yeah. So but he's he's Dominican too. He reps Dominican. He has the tattoo right there. <laughs> they, they, they hit you with the five and crickets, my guy. They fucking hating. Five is a Nazi. Yeah, half. Well, apparently. Did you know all the Dominican people? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> you know this Jamaican motherfucker? Like, no. No. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. I, yo, y'all can be Dominican for a little while. I'll let y'all nah, nah, Next I'm Saturday, y'all Dominican. I'm good, boy. That's it to be. Yeah, this right. Saturday, you mean? Yeah, next. 
The next Six. one coming up. Ah. Nah. Is that how you say it? Yep. That makes sense. I see. Have you, um... I guess babies. What about, um... What other kind of people? There was, <laughs> there was so many people, like... I gotta go back. Try what about... I mean, interview no fire shorties? Yeah, actually, we didn't even talk about any, any women you've interviewed. Are you um, trying to pull up? Or they ain't trying to pull up on you? One of my hey. first, one of my first joints, I I kind of fix shoot, shot my shot at at the time because I was single was Carly Red, because at the time she was like fake blowing up a love of hip hop. She was like a quote unquote cougar at the time. So did you kill it? Huh? Huh? She. <laughs> <laughs> it was quiet. That was like, oh, oh she curved it. Oh dear. <laughs> it's like fuck out of She she hit me with that. <laughs> I'm like oh yeah she. Oh it's a curve. Uh, He's like, yeah, you know when the interview's over, you can go out. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a rap. This is a sword. <laughs> it's the 40s. But I'm trying to think. Um, there wasn't really that much shorties. I can't even think of any because. If they I don't play basketball and they don't rap, they don't matter. I get it. Not at all. See, don't, don't do that. I'm sorry. Isn't that what, um, like, my thing he is. He said like, not at all. I can't song. agree with you. J. Cole said a, in a song, if I don't rap or dribble, but whatever. Be alone, like that. Now, my, but my thing is, I can't really think of who I interviewed from the past because I'm like too busy thinking about my future. Like, so what's, what's your future? Like, yeah, I said, who do you want to? Oh, do you show. Have I want a T. I want a TV show. Then you trying to do one? My, yeah. You want a TV show? You have one. I want a TV show. Up. Oh, okay, okay. Do you wanna? Do you wanna just host it? Do you wanna produce it? Like, no, what? What level do you wanna? Talk to the podcast. We can help you produce. Like, I wanna. I would like some help in producing it, but mm-hmm. do the actual hosting. I see. Format it out. Talk to these, you know, make so, sure you know it looks us. okay. I mean, we, we do this. Say less. Friday, bro. Okay. Cool. We just try well, to you know, throw yeah. people's on. Can I? Yeah, yeah I mean, if you like, like, particularly in TV production, like I don't know anything about it, but Jose definitely does a good job in producing this, and it, he's learning all the time. He's getting learning. better. Okay. And uh, I know people mm-hmm. in TV, it so took the range if, for me. if you want to, you know, yeah. we should we should talk after. Oh, we're gonna let definitely link up. Yeah, nah, man. Gotcha. We, know, we, gotta, we gotta keep building. Keep yeah. building, bro. That's, that's, that's what it's all, all about. about yeah. Is there anybody you have planned to interview or you want to interview in the future? I'm gonna I'm just speak into existence. Um, two Tell years, me. two, three years from now, give me Hove. Woo! Give me Kobe. I Bryant. actually want to meet Hove so badly because I got a few questions for him. Three, three of the dudes. Like, yo, you remember my host? pops? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know my pops and my uncle. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> One of them grew up in my neighborhood. We'll talk about that later. You got to like... Trust me, I know. I know. I, that's a different conversation, different time, but it's... it's I, I'll speak about it's, it with it's you politi- too, But they, the thing is, it's, it's politics. politics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They move it's, in a certain way. Exactly. Because so. they know I have this podcast. Exactly. So We'll talk about that all. Yeah, yeah. But, show, that's going to make me upset. Whole... Kobe show, Bryant so. and I'm trying to think of who I think those I those two those those tweets you want to yeah. do Michael Jordan why not have you heard about his life oh, yeah. no that nigga's yeah. evil bro really yes bro. please tell me how's so he Space evil Jam, all I know is about sneakers and basketball him. bro he used to violate first off the man used to violate his teammates he allowed his sneakers to be made for a cents at a time in China and being sold in the U.S. for hundreds of hundreds. That's that's every that's pretty much on? everything you win. Yo, pe- nah, sneakers bro. cost pennies, fractions life, of pennies bro. to make, bro. What sneakers cost like fractions of pennies. yeah in the sweatshops. Yeah, but the, the, yes, but he went to the sweatshops and he was cool with it. Yes, <laughs> yes, he was. Damn, I didn't know. Jordan that. is a different type of dickhead, bro. It's a lot about Jordan people don't know because they don't they didn't have mics back then or Instagram or anything like that. Jordan was an evil man, bro. He was a fucked up individual. Did he, did you know, he, but then, then did I, he invest into the prisons? You know, yeah, I, this, this is one thing prisons. that I, I think Joe it's Rogan. It's a building prisons. Joe Rogan uh, mentioned this in one of his things where he kind of jokingly said it, but like when you make billions of dollars, you think you you think those people have bodies in the in the closet? Like they've murked anybody on the way to get there? Not Bill Gates. 
Mm, I think he fucked people over. Didn't he have like a? Didn't he supposedly have like a relationship with he's, him? He's Speaking stole, of Bill Gates, he, he just resurpassed from... Jeff Bezos as the richest man This shit is getting me fucking you know every day, mm. and like every few hours. Like <laughs> Jeff Bezos now richer, Bill Gates. Rich. Nigga, it's fucking. It's imaginary. It's money. It's fucking bullshit. It like, is imaginary. But I think like also when, it, when it's that big, it's they imaginary. They keep giving money away, yeah. and I haven't seen a cent. How these motherfuckers billions? So what are you giving it to? Because. You didn't steal Windows 95 from <laughs> no, no, he did steal it. <laughs> no, no, for real. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. He stole that shit. And Steve Jobs stole that And Mark Zuckerberg stole Facebook. <laughs> and Tom stole my <laughs> face. And, um, yeah. What if somebody steals from us? What are they going to steal? I don't think we're going to allow it. Kick it in the door. We've been the 4-4. Copyrights. Right now. We don't have anything copyrighted. What do we need to this shit is too right? raw right now. Like, our jokes are fucking ridiculous. Like, somebody gonna steal your shit? Watch. What right? are they gonna steal? <laughs> the base. You'd be surprised. You know a, lot, a, lot, a lot of these. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Some of these big names probably listen to the, all the. Yeah, all the low level. Low level people shit. be like, "Oh, this like, shit was like actually funny. I like show. his swag. I'm gonna steal this shit. I'm going to steal his whole joke scheme and just run with that. Shit. I'm stealing that nigga swag. We, Fuck we that. Watching TV, someone like, 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 yeah, this, that this, this some funny. shit that I'm, that we say that I'm just like, yo, if only I had the time to go back and fucking snip that shit. Do you do poetry? Hmm? Do you do poetry? Mm-mm. Damn, we got a poetry corner. Roses are red, fights are blue. Hey, you. Running to the bathroom, gotta take a doo-doo. Hey. <laughs> That's the base. That's actually bars. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Make that shit with top of the head. Hey. Don't, don't steal my shit, my nigga. Don't steal that shit. <laughs> I'm watching out for y'all. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Do you have... So... I don't know. I've been thinking about this recently. Mm-hmm. And it's like... Talk um, your shit. You don't even know him, but you've been thinking about it for a while. Yeah, right? I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking yeah, about, but up? I thought about it. Um, no, what is? What's up? What, what drop... Because I, I think... I think we just kind of... A lot of times we just... You know, we're creatures of habits. And mm. we run on... You know, autopilot. Mm. We do a lot of Not things. No, no. <laughs> everyone does. No, you. Okay. Speak for but, yourself. So yeah. speaking for yourself. Okay, so speaking for DK, mm-hmm. especially DK. Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay. The, the Dominican Donkey Kong. Why are you calling me that? I'm scared. Of no, DK. You don't know, like. Oh no, the DK, expression DK. Kong. No, no, like DK. Like it's when like, someone says it's it. like right. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. he was like, oh, what donkey? <laughs> no, but like, what, what? The Dominican donkey. Has there been times where you're the just problem. like doing something like that you normally do, and then you you just stop, and then you're like, okay, what like, the fuck am I doing this shit? Yeah. And and yeah, when like and when you podcast, think and, and when you think about those <laughs> and and let's say and let's say in that moment like well have you has that happened to you? Yes. And in that moment, like what 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 went through your mind? Uh, I got to end this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different discussion, different day. Okay, but um, I actually have um. <laughs> Damn, bro. It was it was their relationship. Don't do that. <laughs> that's, what that's why he looked at it. No, no. It was no was relationship that? situation. One oh two. Edit that yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. No, he's it like, wasn't that. He's like, end that. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not at all. But um. <laughs> but seriously, uh, hour three minutes. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> remember hour hour two over there. Hour three but minutes. It's coming I right said now. some shit. Four. <laughs> Facts, but nah. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> that nigga just smack. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you good? But um, I would say I have, and it was when um, I had to interview the backpack head. You want to something, but. My new job, actually. Mm-hmm. That shit done. Why you putting that shit st- back in the freezer? Yeah. What I did was, oh, I'm sorry. they made me do some new nah, stuff that I'm, that's very foreign to me and whatnot. 
mm-hmm. and I kind of stopped because I'm like, what the fuck I'm doing? Because I didn't sign myself up for doing that. Yeah. But on the long run, and just being so observant and being like making sure I'm paying attention to my surroundings, mm-hmm. it made me show me the perspective why they got me doing it. Okay. So I was able to show me that it, I was able to see that okay, they got me do this because in the near future. If I want to do my own thing, a lot of this had to do with numbers and mm. being able to try to attract new kind of numbers. Probably. So I was able to see, like, all right, cool. This is how you do it. This standard through it properly. Compared to when I first started doing it, I'm like, yo, I'm not about to do this shit. Mm. It has no interest in this, in, interest for me at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had to take a step back to realize, like, why you do, why you making me do this? How I'm going to get it done? Where I'm going to find this kind of information at. And I'm like, all right. I see what's going on. Because it's preparing me for the near future. Where mm-hmm. when that time was to roll around. And I want to do my own thing. I know how to possibly try to monetize that situation. And bring the eyes, the ears, the possibly the money to come. Check me out. And take full advantage of it. So I'm just like, all right, cool. It makes perfect sense. So what drives you? My idols. And low key, y'all, like I, I I look at my idols as far as you know, seeing the actual journey where how what they did, what what how they got their hands dirty of mm-hmm. of where they got it got got to do to get everything done. My fault. Cool. And y'all, because it's like I'm just like you, just like you, just like you, working an everyday job, nine to five job, trying to you know create a situation where that big opportunity comes my way, I'll be prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Because I feel that every overnight success or situation takes years, takes months, takes even a couple decades for it to build up because Mm -hmm. you never know how long that person put put in that work. And a lot of people is not going to post what it takes for you to get to where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. They're only going to post the results. So when I'm looking at people's IGs, whenever I'm looking at other people's IG stories or, t- or tweets and everything, saying that, yo, I'm about to be featured in this campaign, or shout-outs to Revolt for doing this article on me and everything, it's like, yo, you put in that work. Like, you you hustle and grind. Yo, you sacrifice a, sacrifice a lot. It's moments like this, this conversation going on right now where 10, 15 years, well, 5 to 10 years down the road, I could see y'all niggas in, in MSG doing an actual sold out podcast live situation where you recording a special guest episode and it be feature somebody like Jay Z or Kanye and you could be like a conversation situation All or whatnot. Right, I love to Speaking that to existence, it but it's it it's just the process Manifest though. It, mm-hmm. Manifest it. exactly, but it's just the process though because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's like, granted, I'm grateful for where I'm at right now, but I'm hungry I'm cool. and. And like I'm settling, I'm not, I'm not gonna settle, and I feel no. that y'all shouldn't either because we built for greatness. I feel that like my purpose is to make sure that I live up to my greatness. I'm make sure that I pass the torch to the next generation. Where like, yo, I started from the bottom, and I'm look where I'm at. I'm here. So, oh, yeah. bro, exactly. cheer, cheers to that. You know, cheers man. to that. Four, cheers to that. Nah, real talk though, because everything is a process. Like. I'm very, like, low-key, I'm a very impatient person. A lot of people say I have a lot of patience, but at the same time, I'll be like this, like, yo, motherfucker, where the bread at? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, motherfucker, where's this person at? I need that interview, but at the same time, you got to put in that work. You got to really scratch and grind and fight and bite and do whatever you need to take. Like, Are you first-gen, or would you consider yourself growing up, if not first-gen, lower class, middle class, upper class? Like, I'll say I'm first-gen, and I definitely grew up. Um, lower class, but I didn't realize I grew up lower class until I hit up college. I'm I'm like middle class. Old. I'm I'm off, off the off the street. <laughs> I'm middle class because then my my neighborhood grew up at is some history behind it. That's another reason why I'm so hungry because background situation. I'm from originally from Clinton Hills, and I grew up literally in the same building where Little Kim grew up at. Like mm-hmm. she lived there once yeah. upon a time, two blocks over. The notorious Big lived over there. And it's crazy because I was watching Netflix Hip Hop Evolution and they mentioned, they showed Little C's talking about where Biggie grew up, hustled at, 
how Little Kim came into the fold with Junior Mafia, and they showed the actual street where I be going to get my big and egg and cheese. <laughs> in the video when I know. went, I went <laughs> right there. When I went and take the train to work after I graduated from college, it was mm-hmm. looking like, yo, that's my hood. And off the street, I'm that that lit up another spark in me because it's like, yo, I grew up around greatness. So what I look like for fucking around and just be lacklustering in my career and my passion and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I think about but, that shit a lot with like, yeah. my fault, finish? Like, no, 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 you good, you good, you I good. was going to say with, with hip hop and stuff yeah. for like, really mm-hmm. like our, our, our neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Like they literally created culture, created a, a, a history of meaning Yo. out of music. Nothing, my man. Oh, our neighborhoods yeah. were fucking garbage. New York was fucking garbage. Yo. And then it's just like, Real like you, you, I, you know, like, Culture brings people to that shit. And, and now it's just like people it, love New York because of the culture that came out. And it's crazy that you mentioned it because it culture brought so many people to the point where it's, it's, it's fucking, fucking like basically gentrified. Like my yeah, neighborhood is gentrified. That sucks, man. I low key hate New York City because of the simple fact that it's gentrified. It's like so it's expensive as fuck to even do anything. Like I'm ready to go move down south and just do my own thing, start my own shit. But if it wasn't for my career and my passion, I had no choice but to stick around for a little while longer. Mm-hmm. But I feel, I feel like that a lot too. I don't know if you have ever thought or you know have thought about this, but I th- I think about kind of like the impact I want to make and I guess the influence I want to be able to have. And I have thought and considered like maybe I should leave New York and go to one other place where there's not that many people that are like you know as hungry as I am and just mm-hmm. stand out from there. It all depends on like the demographic or the market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is another thing like, because. That's, Honestly, like obviously, I'm in broadcast and journalism. What's the markets at? New York and LA. That's like top two. If I go to Atlanta, what's the odds of me landing at somewhere like TNT? Because that's where it's at on mm-hmm. key or CNN. Like very little. You had you you literally had to network to make sure you have an actual spot bag waiting for you right there. Well, here not. here's the thing in that regard. I know someone. So, I know someone who's in broadcast journalism, and they're they're currently a, a news anchor, right? Mm-hmm. So generally, what they do is that they work their way off up markets, right? So they ended up doing um, working in like Kalamazoo, Michigan, right? Mm-hmm. And then they went to Virginia, and then now they're in, in part of Virginia. Penn State. Now they're in Cincinnati. Um, I'm not sure. I can't think of the top of my head. But now, no. Okay, I thought you were talking about one of the Sparveros because I know they've worked in mad different places. Okay, yeah, That's and right. and now now they're in Cincinnati. They're like an actual like news anchor, newscaster, investigative journalist there. So it's like the way it works is that you work in this market, and then you move to this market, and then you slowly climb up. So it's like. Different markets are almost analogous to, like, different positions. It's like your entry level is, you know, deep south, wherever. And Mm -hmm. then you get promoted. Okay, we're going to put you in Oregon now. You get promoted. You get put in, you know, California. Maybe not a major market, but you get put, like, and and, then that's typically how it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting because it's like if if you're in that life, you're not, you can't really expect to live in a particular place because it's almost like you go, you travel where you're needed, you know? I, f- I know this sounds kind of random, but whatever. I'm just, it means just thinking about celebrities and like drugs and things like that. Have you interviewed somebody that, um, and that's because I watch a, a Watch Mojo video about like, what is it, uh, celebrity families and stuff like that and drugs. Mm-hmm. Have you ever interviewed somebody that, that died? Is that a bad thing? Mm. Or whatever, I already asked the fucking question. No, yeah. Um, you're good. I actually have it now. Think about it. Right, I'll ask you next time you come on. Low-key, in, in my humbling beginnings, I did record the very last basket a street ball legend dropped before he died. Like, I literally oh. saw him pass away in the same game. God rest his soul. Wow. His, um, what's this guy name? He he's from Brownsville. Sticks, shout rest in peace. Sticks, street ball legend. Like literally, he was playing in a game in um, Nike Pro City Brew College, and he did a crazy move that was dope. Layup. Next two possessions later, he's just collapse. fell out, collapse. Wait, that same game that you were yeah, watching? That same game. Holy That's crazy. They shit. stopped. They stopped it. It was a big pandemonium. Like family was around, and what did he pass away from? Um. I think something was wrong with his heart, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Don't don't quote me because I for, I totally forgot. It was like 
during my humbling years to try to really break in and, and turn and mm-hmm. get my hands dirty from but, the media industry. And it's just sort of like a freak your accent yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, like this because basketball is my passion. Like I played it at a high level all what my life. Sure, God. Okay. Like I played all my life. Mm-hmm. I was fortunate to play with guys who won a national championship, NBA All Star game wow. appearances. Played against them, and it's like when I saw that, it's like yo, damn, like he really left it out on the floor. Mm. The people in my like, frat played ball with Obama, and that's one thing that like mm, that's, that's, that's I didn't dope. even know about that shit, but they got to hoop with him. Mm. Is he nasty? Like he got a left, lefty jump know. shot. <laughs> he a lefty. Like, I'm like, to think bro, if I've ever met any basketball players. I know any like people that play professional. Shout out to Kimba Walker. I used to play with him in AU ball. Oh, Kemba Walker, he's a beast. Yeah, like it was a team. And he's team. really coming into his own, yeah. like mm-hmm. this year. Like he's really like, okay, this is my fucking Facts. team. Yo, did like, I die, kid? Is that shit like old, or is that this year? That's this is year. Is, he's injured, right? He's still injured. He oh, won't. Yeah. He won't be coming back to the next like two weeks. He or is. So. Yeah, he not, is like. Yeah. Yeah. He's like one of the biggest hype like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why, that's why I ask because that's Period. I I I know his name and I don't even fucking. Low key, I think he's, he's going to be better than than LeBron. That's my ball prediction. He's going to be better than LeBron. What do you think yeah, about the fix ball your, brothers? Yeah, fix your face, boy. Now what do you think about the ball bro. brothers? The youngest one is, is better than all of them right now. The youngest now. one is better than all of them. Lamelo is the truth. That little boy is a problem. Uh, Facts. I know Keenan does, uh, Keenan does his Yeah, character. I know. The it's father. fucking hilarious. Yep. Like, so what do you mean? I'm, like, what? <laughs> 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 I, I, look, my, bo- my boys is the best <laughs> out here. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what? Mm. There, there was one skit where he's talking about his three sons, no. and then he was like, and my yeah. fourth son, he's Asian, was Chinese, <laughs> La Main, some shit like that. He said something oh, like, La, 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 La Main. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I asking, like, yeah, why the fucker all his kids weak. named La something? Like, yeah. And his name is now, yeah. what, what is it? Lavar. Lavar. And then this is like Lamelo. Lamelo, Lonzo, and Jello. G E G E L O, yeah. Wait, Jello? Yeah. Like, like, J E L L. G E L O. No, but I mean, like, pronunciation. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Mm-hmm. He better be a beast because he's gonna, <laughs> like, like, cause, cause he's gonna if, get it. If, if he was in, a, he if he's a beast, right? yeah, he would be in the league right gonna, now. Cause he's gonna, he's just gonna, he's just gonna him get teased. Him and Lamelo was on the same team once upon a time. That shit's yeah. gonna motivate him. He's just gonna be secret. Nah. <laughs> he's gonna monetize once up, it. Once upon a time, he was. He was on the same team as Lamelo, and Lamelo, I just outperformed him. And, and and please tell me if I'm wrong, because clearly I don't watch sports or anything like that. But I feel like like Lavar Ball proved that like marketing could get you into the NBA. No, at the end of the day, NBA is all about a whole bunch of politics. Lavar also was in charge. Which one? Lavar was in charge. He, he wasn't. You said not Lavar. I'm, I'm bugging. Um, what's the first time? Lonzo. Yeah, he wasn't trash. He's not trash, but. My thing is, it's a lot. It's a lot of dudes that's not in the NBA that deserve to be, but right. it's all about politics. Right, 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 right. Because I felt like but he brought basket- a brand and, but and organized. The, the thing is, the thing about that is, organized basketball is a whole bunch of politics. Because it's like, bro, like it's, it's it's dudes where I feel that that I played Division One basketball and growing up, I played against them. Like, yo, you suck. Like, I literally gave you like. 31 game man. He's an NBA Didn't now. Used he to play he with, went, uh, one dude with, was in the national championship. And mind you, this dude this dude averaged three points per game in high school. Uh, and he was able to get a, a full scholarship to Kansas. Was the starting program once upon a time and was and won a championship. And with and was still able to get drafted. Didn't they, they you you figure it out. Uh, Do your Google. Kevin Durant, didn't he? Yeah, and and they, they somebody else. <laughs> the Ranchula. The, the, the Ranchula. The Ranchula. Yeah. Yo, there's a, there's a they, Pokemon named they, Durant. A, a Tarantula, a steel Tarantula, yeah. spider looking uh, it's Ranchula. It's not called Durant. That's named Durant. Oh, it's called, oh, it's just called Durant. It's called Durant. I'm pretty sure the that character Reaper. was named I have the image in my mind, but I don't know you. It looks literally looks like a gray spider. And it's called Durant. I have the image in my That's mind. That's definitely Kevin Durant. <laughs> a Ranchula. I believe it. That's funny. Yeah, man. Well, you you have any you have anything you wanna? Um, I wanna say, 
Shout out to y'all for inviting me, man. Oh, definitely. Thanks I'm real, for coming. I, I hope you had a good time. Bro. I love it. Like I'm real for the. Gonna be lit, man. I'm rooting for the yeah, underdogs. Right, like I like Fine, literally man. when I say earlier before, like I'm the type where I want to see y'all be in the garden doing a live podcast show. I mean that shit because I'm rooting for everything us by us for us and everything. And Fubu when you get a chance, shout out to Fubu. We yeah, gonna make exactly. That shit happen. <laughs> Remember, we are gonna make that shit happen. And when you get a chance, follow me on IG. I gotta do that shit. Smooth yeah, guy O. S M O O V E G U I O and I'm at one thirty seven PM dot com at Gary V shit so pull up show love so yeah man thanks for coming thanks for Appreciate coming the, invite, man. the base N B E underscore Loso D K Ed Boy thanks for listening I usually Yow. press the thing but you're the closest one oh. so you have to press the press the red button and then um, press play. In regards to- Press play. Press play. Press play. Press play. Press play.